Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Anusha and this is the most awaited video as a lot of you have asked me how my visa experience was and what questions I was asked, how was my interview and everything. So I'm going to give you all the details. So let's go. Ah, before you move ahead in the video, please make sure to like, share and subscribe to my channel. And now let's go. So as everybody knows that F1 visa interview has two steps. One is the biometrics or OFC and the other is the visa interview. So my biometrics was on the 21st of May 2023 and the biometrics was pretty simple. You just need three documents, your passport, your DS-160 and your visa appointment confirmation page. So my visa interview and biometrics both were in Hyderabad. First coming to biometrics, um, it was a uh, half an hour procedure in total my slot was at 11 30 i reached there at around 10 30 ish but they let me in the line at 11 o'clock we were all made to stand in a line and uh, before we move inside there were three security officers who came and checked our documents the three documents that i mentioned before and then once we were in we were again called out our names and given a token and they stick a slip behind your passport which you need to show during your visa interview. Uh, then I was made to stand in a counter and then my fingerprints were taken and a photograph was taken and that's it. That's what happens in biometrics. You don't have to get nervous or tense. No question will be asked, just your details, just those three documents you need and you'll be out and about. Now coming to the main part, the visa interview. My visa interview was on 1st of June 2023 uh, in the Hyderabad consulate itself. I was not very nervous. I was pretty chill because uh, we have already heard that the visa acceptance rate in Hyderabad was going pretty well. So I was not very tensed but uh, obviously you will have the nervousness inside. So uh, my slot was at 9 o'clock. I started at around 7, 7, 7.30ish. Uh, I reached there by 8 o'clock and then when I went there uh, there were a lot of people I'll put a clip I'll insert a clip here I just took a 5 or 6 second clip of the consulate but uh, so we were there and at around 9 sorry at around 8.30 we were called in the line we were standing in that S line and then we were made to go one by one there was an officer outside uh, she checked my passport the sticker that was there and the behind and then she highlighted uh, one serial number i think she highlighted that and then she let me in as soon as you go in there's a security check same like airports if you have belts watches phones <laughs> anything you just have to take them and keep it out and then you'll be checked phones are not allowed so do not take your phones do not carry your digital uh, watches anything that is digital you don't even have to wear a watch basically because if you wear a normal watch also they're telling you to remove so don't wear a if you're wearing a belt then you'll be checked and then you can put the belt back belt back on but um, i did not have a belt i did wear formals i did i wore a white shirt and a black trousers I didn't, I didn't wear a belt though but uh, yeah after the security check we'll go inside again and then again there is a queue a big queue uh, according to your time slot and again there's an S line inside in the Hyderabad consulate once you go in there's another officer that assigns you to a counter number where your visa interview will be taken so in my counter there was a person in front of me and then three people behind me so around five people there were five people in a row and the person in front of me he was asked about 10 to 12 questions i was really panicking that oh my god he's asking so many questions but as soon as i went my visa interview just got approved under 30 seconds that is absolutely true under 30 seconds i was just asked only three questions first i went i wished the officer he was a blonde guy blonde american guy and one more thing all the people in the hyderabad consulates are americans there's no chinese officer no african officer no other officer it was all focus it was all american officers so once i went to the officer the blonde guy i wished him i said hi good morning how are you doing today he said i'm doing fine good morning again he wished he smiled he was pretty polite 
and then he asked me to pass my documents i gave my passport and i20 he just asked me three questions first question was which university are you going to i answered the question that i am going to university of pittsburgh to pursue my masters of science in health informatics the second question i was asked was what was my undergraduate degree so i told him again that my undergraduate degree was bachelor of dental surgery bds and i am a dentist the third question the last question was what does your father do i told him my father's profession i said he is a vice president in so and so company and that's it he said the golden words your visa is approved i was like oh my god he didn't ask any questions why this university what are your plans after graduation why only us nothing just these three questions he dropped the passport in the bin that was behind him he handed my uh, i20 again and he said goodbye i just ran i ran from there i said thank you officer and then i just ran um pretty much everybody was getting an approval that day and uh, the one thing that i'm going to tell you is please do not fumble while you're answering even though you think it's a wrong answer i just say that don't fumble just complete the sentence do not abrupt your answers and yeah just be confident do not be nervous that is what i'm going to tell so yeah that was my visa interview experience it just happened so quickly and uh, i'm so glad it's over <laughs> one tension is over but yeah it was a great experience you don't have to worry about anything now is the time for the tips i want to give you to ace your visa interview number one tip that i am going to give you is be confident do not fumble do not be nervous in front of the visa interviewer because you are only going to create a bad impression if you are so just be confident in whatever you are answering the second tip i want to give you is be truthful and honest if you have done a project work describe about it if you have done an internship describe about it if you haven't done anything if you wanted to explore into different courses then just say so do not say wrong information because in case if they ask you a certificate for it and if you don't have it you are going to be in trouble the third thing is consulate does not matter whatever consulate it is if you are confident if you are going to get a visa then you will get a visa it's about how you answer the questions and how you are presenting yourself to the visa interviewer so consulate does not matter this consulate is like this this consulate is like this hyderabad has so much acceptance rate chennai is like this do not focus on that if you have booked a consulate focus on it just go for it nothing is going to go wrong if you are confident in yourself then again a lot of people have asking me see which one is what is your counter number what which counter did you go i'm going to tell you my counter number my counter number was 26 but again it's not in your hands which counter you will go to it's going to be completely luck which counter you will be assigned to so again i think counter number also does not matter if you are good to go the next tip that i'm going to give you is give precise answers don't elaborate your answers like big paragraphs or essays this is not an elocution competition this is what answer only what is asked if they are asking who is sponsoring your education you have to tell my father is sponsoring my education or my mother is sponsoring my education or x person is sponsoring my education don't tell your savings and everything the question is who is sponsoring your education not who is funding your education if they are ask about funding then mention that my so and so person is funding my education with an amount of so and so make sure that you are answering what is being asked and make it precise again i'm not telling that you have to answer your answers in one sentence make it at least a three to four lines answers again i am going to drop all my answers here on the screen whatever my my preparation was the answers i made were lengthy but i made sure that i cut it short when it's in my brain and when i'm about to answer so make sure that you are answering precisely the next tip i am going to give is you can wear whatever you are comfortable in it does not have to be formal 
but it can be kurti with legging but make sure that it's not very dazzly just keep it simple keep it neat wear light colors pleasantable colors and yeah and you can also wear formals but don't put a blazer and tie and everything this is not a job interview this is a visa interview so make sure that you're going in formals but do not overdo yourself as coming for the guys i would recommend that you do not wear jeans you can wear jeans but uh, i'd recommend don't wear jeans you can you can wear a casual shirt and trousers you don't have to tuck it in but uh, it looks more professional if you tuck it in and if you can then wear formals but you don't have to invest separately that's the mistake i did i invested separately for a white shirt and a trouser but you don't have to do that because a lot of people were there in kurtis as well it's my personal opinion that i didn't want to wear a kurti and i wanted to wear formals for my interview so i did so but it really does not matter what you wear it's it's all in how you are going to answer because only this much like how you are seeing in this video only this much is going to be visible for to the interviewer so really it does not matter what you wear that's it do let me know in the comment section after your interview is over i'd really like to know if your visa is approved and if my video is helpful and then uh, i'm going to make a separate video of frequently asked f1 visa questions in my next video but please make sure to see that as well thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you next time bye